a page in my journal. Welcome to the world of my mind that is filled with anger, sadness, happiness, and memories that have been stored over time. I must admit that I have gone so far as to submit to the unruly and strenuous thoughts and emotions that for a majority of my life has trapped me within a dark abyss. I'm amazed at the amount of power I have given the anxiety that easily conquers my brain, telling myself I can overcome it if I keep fighting and keep motivating myself to train. Waking up every morning ready for this inner combat, not willing to lose but willing to gain. Trying to keep my spirit alive while silencing the doubts that creep up in my mind. Putting on a smile while there is corruption inside. Another 24 hours has come and passed by. Daydreaming that I will be the next Edgar Allan Poe or Maya Angelou, a bit over the moon, but who can stop me from dreaming? I will aim for the stars. It's not my style to keep my passions on the low because they have so much meaning. I will not be afraid to show the world who I am and what I can do. I have hidden parts of me for so long where I've cried myself to sleep wishing they knew. Regrets have become an unsavory repetition, a cycle I wish to end. Constantly worried that I've made a bad impression with my decisions, dwelling on my mistakes, being my own fair-weathered friend. As always, I realize the unfairness I give to myself only after I have been drowning in my insecurities. Quickly ready to say that I can't or slipping into the self-sabotaging thoughts because I don't believe in myself. I don't believe that I am capable to take the wheel, to make him fall in love with me, to take the risk to scare the hell out of me, to present my talents without a bit of shame. But of course, this is a sign of little confidence and I am the one to blame. To the tiny voice that pushes me, that screams at me, that I can do anything and everything. Thank you. I'll make your voice louder. I won't let you down.